The world is a vampire. Alright, so let me begin by this review saying that Dead Space 1 didn't impress me like it did a lot of other people. Uh, I didn't really find the objectives interesting. Uh, while they definitely suited the nature of the game, I just didn't really care enough. It also didn't scare me like a Silent Hill game, so while I enjoyed it, it was I just thought it was an average game in the end. Uh, I was interested in see I was interested in Dead Space 2 once the sequel was announced because I, I believe that Visceral were just going to go crazy with this game and just really enhance on everything from the original game. And they definitely have. Dead Space 2 is a completely different experience to the original game and one of the best sequels and probably best games I've ever played. On the surface it looks like not a lot has changed. It's still an over the th uh, shoulder third person shooter. It's still got the kinesis abilities to move and collect objects. You can still stomp enemies until there is nothing left to stomp, and some of the weapons have returned. There's also still the zero gravity sections and areas that have no oxygen, and enemies you have gone toe to toe with before. But Visceral has given these abilities and sections a lot more grunt. For starters, I'm pretty sure the Necromorphs have a lot more blood in their system because it seems to be flying every which way. Stomping enemies especially will give you a suit of Crimson Shade, and Isaac puts a bit of stink on it when he does his curb stomp. Kinesis can now be used against enemies. The facility you're in seems to have a lot of javelins around so you can spear enemies with these. Uh, but you can also pick up some of their amputated claws and tentacles from, from your enemies and use them against them. Uh, zero gravity is no longer restrictive so you can actually fly anywhere and there's a boost function where you can uh, jet faster to places you need to be. And This can also be used in some of the no oxygen areas. Alright, so you get it. The game plays well, but how does it actually feel? In one one word, or two words, it's, it's intense. I haven't uh, had this sort of feeling since Silent Hill 2, and while this game is no Silent Hill 2, it's, in terms of generating fear, it's still great. Dead Space 2 seems to draw a lot of inspiration from games like Bioshock and Fear, in that you're exploring this massive facility that features different sections while trying to deal with flashbacks and hallucinations. Yeah, that's right. Isaac's gone a little bit cuckoo in this one, but uh, that's all I'm going to tell you about the story. Let's just say the, the, the game does a great job of swapping between Isaac's dementia and the real world. You actually uh, kick things off in Dead Space 2 in a mental facility, and your first mission to is, is to escape it. Uh, some of the stuff that goes down is actually pretty messed up. Eventually you'll get your suit and travel to other locations within the facility including a childcare facility, shopping centre and a church for people who praise the marker. Each area is as intense as each other where you're constantly wondering where the, enemy, the next enemy will come from and you flash your light mindlessly all over the place as soon as you hear a noise. You're constantly hearing voices too as you wander around you'll hear someone whispering Isaac and other sweet nothings in attempt to put you off your game. And all of this is combined, uh, is, is what actually keeps you on the edge of your seat. The wondering of just what's going to happen next and what is around the next corner waiting for you and is what makes this game so great to play. There's actually a run feature in Dead Space, but the only time I actually used it was just to run away enemies to get some space between them. But uh, when I'm exploring, I never use it because I just never know what I'm going to run into. So that's how intense it was. Speaking of the enemies, there are a couple I didn't recognise. The worst one being uh, one that's like a charging bull. It actually hides behind cover and then peeks out to see where you are. I was constantly aiming in front of me, just waiting for it to charge me. Then when it would, it would let out this horrible screech, put its head down and come at me in full speed. And the only way to kill enemies in Dead Space 2 is to remove the limbs, so I'd have my line gun ready uh, to shoot and just take out its legs so its carcass would just slide to my feet like someone had curled a ham. Other enemies will spit some form of acid that actually slows you down and makes your suit almost melt. Uh, another one seems to be able to morph back together like a T-1000 from Terminator 2. And there is also a massive brute that can only be killed when you're behind it. Uh, they all need to be taken down the same way, just removing the limbs. You can take out the legs for everybody. Um, you can't take out the legs for everybody as some of them don't even have legs, so you'll have to cha uh, change your strategies with each enemy that you meet. Uh, my only complaint is the 360 version is actually on two discs. Now, I know I shouldn't really complain, but I hate getting off the couch. I hated it with Mass Effect 2 and I hate it with Dead Space 2. 
I played the original Dead Space on PS3, and EA were really kind in, get, in sending us a copy on the 360, but if I was buying this for myself, uh, and I just might swap this copy for a, uh, and get a PS3 copy. It's the same reason why I bought Goodfellas on Blu-ray, is because my DVD copy makes me get up every time a spider gets killed just to watch the rest of the movie. It's not really EA's fault, Microsoft really need to swallow their pride and release a Blu-ray add-on, although I can only imagine how much they charge for it considering the prices for their uh, hard drives. Anyway, I'm getting off point. Dead Space 2 does also offer multiplayer, but um, I haven't checked this out and I'll probably discuss it on a later episode. Although it doesn't really matter because Dead Space 2 is now one of my favourite games. To me it's up there with current favourites like Arkham Asylum, Mass Effect 2 and Metal Gear Solid. You don't need to play the original game because there is a great recap included on the disc. The game should be played um, by all unless you don't like dark rooms, creepy enemies that screech like a pig getting its tail pulled, more blood than a Tarantino box set, demented hallucinations, voice whispering weird shit, amputations and lots of those moments where you're looking one way and turn around to find a fucked up enemy in your face with its tentacle claws already in the air and charging down to skewer your heart and lungs. So yeah, Dead Space 2 is highly, highly recommended.